For the rest of the positions on exec, there are certain attributes which people want to gain. For example, the VP DIS presumably wanting the skill set to get into Scotland Yard by starting off their career as the fun police at formal. <laughs> and the secretary will want to excel in their ability to be just a little bit more anal than everything for everyone else. <laughs> so unless Ellie wants to become groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons upon graduation, her desire to become facilities officer instead highlights the selfless care and pride that Ellie has for us all through improving our physical interactions with college to make our lives both easier and more enjoyable. To take responsibility for all of this reflects her character, one that is outgoing, caring and primarily wants everyone to have the best time that they can during their time at Hatfield. That, and even if everyone else is stressed out to the max, she will be the one seeing the positive light to get people to be as proactive as she is herself. Ellie also brings a strong, applicable skill set to the role. She already knows the workings and needs of the college bar from her time working behind it, and has also been a part of the junior ends team, using college spaces and knowing where the often unlocatable is actually located. <laughs> she is also a regular attendee of college events, meaning she has experience and knowledge in what works best from a user's perspective of both temporary and permanent college spaces. Furthermore, her time helping organise the Hatfield Nepal trip has shown her ability to organise time helping to use college spaces for information events and also to be able to effectively time manage her own life to fit in with the responsibilities bestowed upon her. With Ellie being a resident sports star for Hatfield, she will also be able to put her fitness flair to good show in improvements of the gyms and supporting the gym reps. Also, the seeing over the food reps was mean she is more than willing to be the Mary Berry of Hatfield in the good times but bring out the Gordon Ramsay in case change is needed. All in all, Ellie has the personality and skills to not only be a success in this new role, but also be an outgoing and key member of the exec. Thank you very much, and please vote Ellie Hatterson. <laughs> Right, okay, question number one. With Case being renovated, uh, there will be a great amount of disturbance to many college spaces, primarily the gym, the library, and the reading room. How do you aim to facilitate the movement of these spaces? Um, so I know that the plan currently is to move um, those spaces onto the tennis court in a like temporary kind of quarter cabin type situation. Um, hopefully, it's only going to be a, t going to be a term's worth of um, disruption. Um, so the, the only real thing to do about that is just to make the best of the situation um, and just ensure that, like, everything possible is done to make sh to ensure that, um, like, people can work in those study spaces and people can use the gym. Um, but apart from that, there's not really a lot that can be done to alter the situation. Obviously, place has to be renovated and the gym and things have to be moved out. Um, so. Sorry, do you want us to move the mic a little bit closer yeah. to your... I don't really understand my <laughs> um, As facilities officer, you and the social sec are jointly in charge of tech. How do you feel you can cope with this responsibility? Well, I'm going to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually think that something that would be really helpful would be to, for people to get um, DST like tech trained. Um, I also know that people like Stefan have a lot of experience in terms of um, like the music side of tech, so I think it'd be really helpful to have him just tell me how it works. <laughs> and also, to be fair, it would be very useful on things like open mic night to know how to like, you know, plug in my own guitar and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's definitely an important thing to learn how to do myself and then hopefully be able to train like tech reps and stuff like that. Um, you're in charge of several reps, um, including the gym reps and the food reps. What role do you see these reps taking if you get this position? Um, so definitely with things like the gym reps, what I want to happen is that I would hopefully be able to sort of delegate things that I wouldn't have the time to do. I'd like to hopefully um, get a male and a female gym rep, um, if there is sort of the possibility of that, um, because I think it's important that um, girls get engaged with the gym as much as the boys are, especially in particular the weights gym. Um, 
And with regards to food reps, I know it's worked really well this year um, with the current food rep who did a Facebook post on like suggestions as to how food should be improved, and that worked really well. So something like using social media to instigate kind of um, a discussion, although that was limited to the freshers page. I'd like to hopefully get that like inv like more people involved in that, um, just all of us in, obviously, particularly. Um, but yeah. What improvements do you wish to see in terms of facilities around the college? Um, so my, one of my main um, aims would be to improve engagement with the bar because I feel that this year um, the freshers have not understood how great a space the bar is. I don't know why that is but I would definitely look into it. I would look to like um, talk to people I know and also maybe potentially hold meetings about it because the bar is a really great space, not just for drinking, obviously. Um, but like it's got the pool table and things like that. It's got it's like a really good social space, and you can hold you can hold you know obviously welfare hold events there, social sector holds events there. Um, so I definitely look to work with the social sector to improve engagement with the bar um, from that perspective. Um, I'd also quite like to um, reinstate the vending machines in these stairs because in our year they were always broken, I think, <laughs> or at least when they weren't broken they looked broken. So hopefully. I would be able to um, get them back in um, and just publicise that they were there. Do you think it's fair that levies paid by everyone are used to fund the gym, which is only used by uh, a smaller proportion of the JCR? Yeah, um, this was raised at like, one of the last JCR meetings, actually. Um, I, th I think it is the only real way of doing it because I think everybody would presumably like the option to go to the gym and it would be too difficult and kind of almost a waste of time for people to, for, for the, there to be a system in which you had, you paid based on whether you were going to go because it would require either a system in place where you swiped a card or something or for someone to literally be manning the gym at all times which is obviously a, kind of a waste of resources in my opinion. Um, I think the gym can be really good and I would definitely look to um, improving things once the gym has been renovated. Um, I realise at the moment the cardio gym is not the nicest place in the world. Um, but yeah, like I think it definitely can be improved and I think it is a space that is useful and it's also used by livers in, livers out and it definitely like engages everyone in college. So I think it potentially, yeah, like I think it is a really good thing. And I think everybody could make use of it. Um, with the JCR food requests often being ambitious and impossible due to budget constraints, for example, hot drinks at lunch, yeah. how would you ensure the catering working group encourages feasible requests from the JCR diners, and how would you collect these opinions objectively? Um, well, I think, or well, I don't actually know. I don't know the extent of what is uh, potentially possible, um, but. I don't see why people can't like throw ideas around and we can then take that, take those ideas and see what is feasible working with Darren and the catering staff, obviously. Um, I think a hot drinks at lunch, obviously that is a big, a big one that people want and it's ne probably never going to happen. Um, but things like working with welfare, I know that we were thinking about um, in skating like a hot drinks thing when like summer tips were on, for example. Um, during the reading room, uh, people in the reading room <coughs> to be able to go to welfare and get hot drinks for that reason. So I think there are like other avenues that you could look down for that sort of thing. Um, what was the second part of the question? It was how could you collect their opinions? Yeah, again, as I mentioned earlier, probably something like social media would be the best the, the best way to ensure that like a large group of people are going to likely to do it, basically. Thank you. Um, that's all the questions from us. Does anyone here have a question for Eddie? <coughs> uh, yes, Will? The question is, uh, a lot of other colleges rent out their tech to bring in income. Is that something that you would consider doing in your role? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely look into it. Uh, I think, obviously, I mean, we, we actually use a lot of the tech, which is actually the property of King Jeff, so I mean, it's kind of theirs. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I think if, if that was a possibility, then I'd definitely yeah, consider it. I mean, it's a good idea, especially to raise revenue. Wonderful. Uh, are there any other questions? Uh, yeah. 
Becca? Um, like, I'm not sure, I'm just asking, like, your role is um, looking at the spaces, so does the music room come under your um, umbrella? And if it does, like, how would you, it's always, it's always so messy, yeah, it's such a state, would you put, like, <coughs> like, the gym's always, like, there's always space for person things, like, keep tight, keep tight, would you put that same effort into the music room? But if it's not under your role, then obviously don't. That's worry a about very good it. question. I don't know. So I mean, call it spaces is what it says in standing order, so I guess that would... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just to, yeah. re- just to put the questions over here. So, um, does the music room come under your role, and if so, how do you propose to keep it tidy and clean throughout the term? Yeah, um, well, I think it is under, under my role. Um, I would say the same kind of thing, basically. Um, I've, I've obviously been in there a few times, and it has been really messy. I think the first thing would be to just do a massive tidy up. I don't know if it's ever really had that um, element. That, um, I guess, yeah, just potentially just organise a big tidy up to start with and then uh, once it's got a system would I would then be able to ensure that it was kept tidy. Um, yeah. Perfect. Dan? Um, obviously with the um, building renovations lots of our freshers might be decanted to different locations in Durham. What sort of things do you think you'll do to ensure that all the facilities and services that we offer are fairly available to all the students that we've got no matter where they're living? So with, um, with renovations happening, some students may put in accommodation elsewhere in Durham. What will you do to ensure that this, that Hatfield facilities are freely available for everyone? Um, so it will only be the people who are living in PACE that will be <coughs> affected, and that will hopefully only be for a term or a, a, hopefully at the latest until January. So that will obviously that will only be a limited problem, but I think it's definitely important to engage people right from the start. Um, I would definitely do that by... Again, as I mentioned, like one of my priorities is to make sure the bar is a space that is used, um, and and that. So I would hope I would look to work with the social sector, organise events that uh, kind of bring people into college. Um, again, with with spaces like Beastairs Cover Room, that's a, that's another space that can be used um, as a social area, and with the vending machines as well, that will, that will hopefully bring more people in. Sounds silly, but probably would. Um, <laughs> And yeah, like again, it's got the pool table and the bar. Like, there's lots of things that people can use um, just to be social. So I think, like, you definitely spaces can easily be used to, to bring people back into college. Thank you. Are there any more questions? No. In which case, Ellie, you've got two minutes. Um, I think my manifesto kind of speaks for itself. I've I've done a lot in college over the past couple of years. Um, I've been on DARPA, I've been on welfare, ENDS like open mic night in the pool project. I've kind of done everything that there is to do and I really feel like this is kind of the next step. Like um, I definitely feel um, able to fulfill my role. Like I've, I've looked through the standing orders and Alex has given me like some really great advice about like what I can do. Um, so I'm really hoping that like this role will like start, start off really well. Obviously it's the first year that it will be running um, and I hope to provide a, like a really good platform for the next one um, to build from. Um, so yeah.